Good morning or welcome back to another weekly vlog. It's Monday morning, it's Easter Monday, so it's a bank holiday. Not that that matters because I'm not working either way. And today I'm going out for a mountain bike ride. Normally I have a fatigue test on a Monday, but we are ramping up my training a little bit. So I have got a three hour mountain bike ride to do today. It's a little bit cooler today, so I think it's gonna be leg warmers. I don't wanna do full tights, but I think I'm gonna do leg warmers just to keep myself a little bit more wrapped up. I'm about a third of the way through my ride and I've just stopped to have a little bar to keep my energy up and just to sort of take in my surroundings really. Enjoying the sunshine, it's so windy but I am currently on part of the limestone way. It's a pretty savage bridal way to be honest. I just got back from my ride and it was so good. I had such a nice time. It was so good just being out in the fresh air, at one with my thoughts and just bopping along to the music and just taking in my surroundings. It was so nice. The headwind though that seemed to follow me around the entire time because I didn't get a single tailwind. Just loving mountain biking so much, way more than I thought I would. I'm really, really enjoying it. And I'm getting way more into the technical side of things now as well. Good morning, it is Tuesday morning now and I have spent this morning doing some research. I've got some quotes back from some work top specialists because like I was saying in my last vlog, I want to get a solid surface light work top in the new kitchen. So I have been getting some quotes from people and they're very expensive. I know that kitchens are expensive, but holy mother. But it needs to be done because I want to invest in the house and really make it a good quality house so that one day when I sell it on, I can make a profit, hopefully. And then I've also been doing some research on things like kitchen handles and the type of handles that I want to get. Um, but I've been doing things like looking on Facebook Marketplace for the kitchen handles and lots of people are selling new handles that they've just bought too many of. So if I can find enough handles, then I might buy them off kitchen, off, off kitchen Marketplace. I might buy them from Facebook Marketplace because if I work it out, if I need, and then I've been looking at things like lighting, a lot of decisions to make, I think. And I've been trying to work out what jobs I need different tradesmen to do. It's not about going on Pinterest now. I'm sort of past the stage of Pinteresting. I'm on to the searching of the actual products and how much they are going to actually cost. I have asked the estate agent selling the house if I can do a key undertaking. This is the good thing about having a dad as a lawyer because I didn't even know that that was a thing that you could possibly even do but apparently before you complete on a house purchase, you can ask at least to do a key undertaking, which is where you can get the keys early so that you can get into the house and you know do some measuring if you need to. I am off to the supermarket now. I got a call from the estate agent saying that the client is not happy to do a key undertaking they want to wait until completion. So I've told my dad, my dad's on the case. I feel like I am definitely lacking in some motivation today. I should have come to the food shop earlier, but I just, yeah, I'm definitely struggling with motivation now that I'm not working. I'm finding it really hard to make myself get up and do things a little bit more. I think if I make myself go out 
go out on the bike rather than um, do it on the watt bike, I think I will probably get it done sooner. I will give you one guess as to how I just managed to spend £120 in Aldi, the cheapest food shop in the world. Have you guessed? I went down the special buys aisle and I don't normally go and actually take note of what's in the special aisle but I did today. I made sure that basically I don't have to go back to the food shop for the rest of this week and I also bought things like trouser coat hangers, trouser hangers, like the wooden ones that press the trousers together. And I bought a reusable coffee cup. What else did I buy that was a bit random? I don't think I bought that many other things, but I, I did buy quite, oh, I did buy four bottles of wine. Another thing that I bought um, from the special buys aisle is wood glue, Gorilla Glue. A, because it was reduced and I can't resist a reduction, but also I thought if I'm gonna do any panelling and anything in the new house, this would actually be quite a good idea to buy. Also, I know that the brand Gorilla Glue is really good. I keep finding more things. I bought some dishwasher and plug hole cleaner. The boring things that cost money. <laughs> I just got back from my ride and I accidentally forgot to do my exercises beforehand so I'm going to do them now and hopefully James won't mind that I've done them the opposite way round. I think you should be fine, I hope. Anyway, right, I'm going to get on with them.
I am just about to go out for my training today. I've got my position hold session, which is five minutes on and tensing and um, tilted pelvis and then five minutes off. And I did that for an hour, but I'm gonna go outside because it is a nice day and it's not gonna be nice for many more days this week. So but I'm just gonna go down the A6 because it's the only place around here that's relatively flat and I need relatively flat and a bit of resistance. I don't really need to be doing this when I'm climbing. It's five o'clock and I've got a glass of wine and a book and I'm gonna have a bit of a zen. Thursday lunchtime now. I didn't vlog this morning because I just didn't get out of bed straight away. I just was lacking the motivation to get out of bed basically. But I'm going to seize the day now and I've got four eight minute threshold efforts to go and do now. Um, so I'm going to go and do them. <laughs> I look like I'm just wearing the same jersey, but I promise I am washing it after every time I go out. I don't really have any other long sleeve jerseys. Levi just bought me one um, from ASOS and got it sent down here to me, but it's the wrong size. So I have to send it back tomorrow. It's three o'clock now and I did my efforts <clears throat> and I've just had my lunch. And I don't know whether any of you have um, seen the whole run five, nominate five, donate five, but I've been nominated twice now by Levi and Sophie. So I feel like I have to go and do this run now. Uh, my two middle efforts were really hard and then my first and my last were okay. The lovely day out, it's three o'clock, so I'm gonna head out now and run my 5K for charity, but I'm going to donate directly to the NHS rather than through Virgin because uh, Richard Branson is currently asking for a government bailout and I do not agree with that. He's making his staff take unpaid leave and he is one of the world's richest men, so why he's asking the government for a bailout, I do not know. So I'm not gonna donate through Virgin, I'm gonna donate directly to the NHS or through um, the war veteran who has done his um, 100 laps of his garden. And he's raised something like 12 million pounds for the NHS, which is absolutely amazing. So I might donate to his fundraiser instead because I think with GoFundMe, it all goes directly to the charity rather than Virgin skimming off the top. Well, that was tough. I'm not gonna lie, it's harder when you've already done your training in the morning. I'm back home now after my 5K. It turns out if you don't run for a while, you are not very good when you start running again. That was really painful and totally unenjoyable the whole time. It was not nice. My legs are starting to feel pretty tired though, so I am probably just going to have an evening of sitting on the sofa because my legs are sore. <laughs> So I normally use podium legs after I race during race season, but my legs are in bits after that run, so I'm going to do some now. morning it's friday morning it's a bit earlier than usual it's nine o'clock and i made myself get up this morning because i've not been getting to sleep very easily and i think 
I have worked out that it's because I'm sleeping longer in the mornings. So I'm gonna get myself back into my routine of getting up earlier now and see if that helps because I hate not being able to get to sleep. So I have got up earlier and I'm gonna head out to the shops now and then come home and do my strength and conditioning. My legs are killing me after yesterday's workouts. Probably make some more house plans because I want to keep myself active and doing things today so that I can sleep tonight. A purchase arrived which I'm very excited about because it's for my new kitchen. Door handles, would you believe? Now I am having a shaker style kitchen so I wanted some cup pulls and I got some. Here we go. Yay! So these will go like here maybe and then yes yeah, so they'll go in the corner I'm not quite sure where. I'm gonna have similar style cupboards to these but not exactly the same but they will go there for double ones like this and then on my drawers they will go like that roughly obviously. So I bought 24 of them so one of my budget saving hacks because my worktops are thousand literally thousands and thousands of pounds i am trying to save money on things that i can save money on there's certain things that i know i need to invest in so that's like worktops appliances etc but then certain things i can do slightly cheaper that will still give an illusion online for basically the same handles you're looking at three three pounds fifty for those sorts of handles the shaker style cups and i got them for less than a pound each because i got 24 for 17 79 just off facebook marketplace and i'm pretty proud of that bargain hunting because that has definitely saved me a bit of money um so that's great and uh that's re that's really it to be honest um I spoke to a flooring guy earlier today, so I'll be able to see some samples at some point soon. So I will keep you updated on that. Very excited to put my kitchen all together. Good morning, it is Sunday, Saturday morning now, and I am just having a cup of tea in bed. It's a bit of a gray, miserable day outside. I have got some training to do, but I'm thinking I will probably just do it on the Watt bike because it's not that nice outside so I don't feel like I have to go outside and do it out there. And I just got a knock at the door and I've got a parcel. Now who sends things in orange packaging apart from my lovely friends at Veloskin? I don't know what it is, um, I've not ordered anything so let's have a look and see what's inside. top up of chamois cream and I've actually never used the soothing gel so let's just have a quick I'm not actually sure when you're supposed to use this is it after I shave my legs I'm not entirely sure this chamois cream though hands down is the best chamois cream that I have ever used you will know that though because I've been using this I use it all through my race season I use it every time I go on the bike and it is hands down the best chamois cream I've ever used. So shout out to Velo Skin. Thank you for sending me this little care package. That is super nice. I was not expecting this. Go get yourself some chamois cream. Thanks guys. I'm just about to do my training session today. I'm not doing it outside. I'm doing it on my road bike on the turbo. I can't do it on the watt bike because I ran out of gears and I can't get the... Um, cadence low enough whilst maintaining a high enough power so I need to do it on my road bike on the turbo to get some more gears basically. It's half past five on 
Saturday afternoon, evening, whatever you want to call it. And I wanted to round the vlog off now. I am just going to edit it and make sure it's uploaded ready for Monday. Yeah, I'm just trying to make sure that I get as much lined up uh, for the house as I possibly can so that I am as ready to go when we exchange and complete. We're going to do a simultaneous exchange and complete as well. So that should mean it happens a little bit sooner. So I've closed down my help to buy ISA and... It's really exciting and it's going to happen pretty soon, so I can't wait. I can't wait to show you guys. I'm excited for the journey to properly begin. Yeah, I'm going to be a homeowner. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this vlog as usual. hope you're staying inside as much as you can. Make sure you do get outside and do some exercise though because it really does help an awful lot, especially with mental health. Thank you again for watching. Again, if you've made it all the way through, I know these vlogs are a little bit longer, but We've got quite a lot more time on our hands nowadays, so if you've spared 20 minutes to enjoy this, then thank you for watching. Stay safe, and I will see you in next week's vlog.